Hey, badass business owners, today I want to talk about a chicken, an egg, and a pig. And what on earth do they have to do with your small business? Well, we're going to talk about that. Believe it or not, it's two different things. First off, let's talk about a chicken and a pig. I want you to think about your breakfast. The chicken is involved in your breakfast, but the pig, the pig is committed to your breakfast. Now, I don't know why I find that funny, but I think that is a great analogy. And I heard it from Zig Ziglar. And if you think about your business, I oftentimes come across small business owners who are acting like the chicken. They're involved in their business, but they're not really committed to their business and helping it grow and get better and to create more profits. So the question is, which one are you? Are you a chicken when it comes to your business or are you a pig when it comes to your business? It's something to ponder about. I think it's actually a very interesting saying. Now, the real reason I'm here today is to talk about the chicken and the egg. I know you're still confused. What on earth does a chicken and an egg have to do with your business? Well, if you think about another analogy where we talk about a chicken and an egg, it comes down to what comes first, the chicken, because you can't have eggs without the chicken, but yet without the egg, you don't got a chicken. You don't know which one, right? So I always think about this when I think about sales and profits in your business. You can have sales, but not have profit. And you can't have profit without having sales. So while they're slightly different, it still comes down to an age old debate that I always get into with people because a lot of times people are like, I need to create more sales. I need more sales. Matter of fact, in the last few videos, all we did is talk about sales. How can you create more sales? But I'm always saying it's a profit game, not a sales game. And the reason that I say that is so many times people chase sale after sale after sale, and yet they sit back and they still go, I don't have any money. I'm not making any money. And the reason is, is they're so focused on the sales side of the equation and they're not focused on the profit side of the equation. And the reality is you have to keep in mind both. You have to make sure that the sales you're having are profitable sales. And a lot of times what happens is if you're not controlling your cost of goods or your expenses, remember sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. If you're not controlling the cost of goods and the expenses, there's not going to be any profit at the end of the day for you. So you can do all the sales in the world, but if you're not controlling those expenses and those uh, uh, cost of goods, you're just not going to have any. But the other thing you have to keep in mind is not all sales are created equal. Some things that you sell or service that you provide are probably very profitable for you. And then other things that you do just aren't profitable at all. And what happens is when people chase sales, what happens is they chase the wrong sales. So they take those items that they don't make a lot of money on and they try to sell that and they try to use that to get people in the door. Well, the problem is unless you have upgrades or add-ons, things that we talked about in the last video for them in order to buy or to purchase, to raise that profit margin, then honestly, you doing all those sales isn't really going to help you much because you're just not going to be profitable and we want you to be profitable. So it's really important that when you're thinking about sales and what type of sales you're going to push that you're going to drive, I want you to keep profit in mind Um, because at the end of the day, this is a profit game, right? That's why I say that all the time. One of the things that you can do is when you're looking at your sales is to make sure that you break down each type. So we spend time talking about overall, making sure that you're priced right. And I'm always telling you to make sure that you do that breakdown. So if the overall calculation for your business is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits, then it makes sense that when you're pricing, you're doing the exact same thing. And I have other videos where I do this even more, breaking it down. So make sure you check those out. But you need to make sure that if you do a certain uh, sale, a certain service or a certain product, that you are sitting there going, okay, well, I charge $70 for this. And my cost of goods, uh, materials and the ingredients that I use is comes to $10 $10 and the labor is one hour. So I've got a total of $30, $40 involved in cost of goods. And I need to set aside a certain percentage, obviously 10% for my expenses. So whatever that number is for your business. So there's another $7 or $10 that I got to set aside. So there, there's my profit. But what happens is a lot of times people don't do the basic math for each individual sale or each individual product or service that they sell. And they don't know what that breakdown is. I want to challenge you to make sure that you're taking that same calculation and you're doing it by 
everything that you sell, anything that you offer to people. Because it's really important that when you make the decision to go chase sales, that you're chasing the right sales, that you're chasing the profitable sales. Um, And that's what's really important to you when you're doing your business. Because if you're just focusing on sales, you're going to end up a lot of times going, man, I've been so busy. I've sold so much. And then you're going to go do your numbers. And you're like, well, why didn't I make any more money? because you chased the wrong sales. You didn't chase the profitable sales. And if you think about it, a lot of times when we are chasing sales, we offer a discount or we do something to get them in the door. Well, if you're putting out a coupon to tell somebody that they get 10% off, 20% off, 25% off, and yet you only run 10% profit in your business, what do you think is going to happen when you give somebody 10% off that sale? Well, it cuts right directly from your profitability. So if you sell something and you only make, say, 15% or 20% on that, don't be shocked when you all of a sudden are giving it 10% off that you've cut that profit down, that 10%, because it's got to come from somewhere. Because unless you are finding a way to decrease your expenses and you find a way to decrease the cost that it's going to cause you, that 10% off or that 25% off or that $50 off or whatever it is that you offer people is automatically coming off of your profit for that sale. So it's really, really important you always remember that. That is like a star, put a star next to it and remember anytime that you are running any kind of special. I've watched so many people go, oh, I'm gonna spend this money on marketing and I'm gonna offer this off and I'm gonna do this. And I think, okay, that's great. First off, is it gonna get you more butts in the door? Because that's what a whole, you know, marketing is supposed to do, right? Get more butts to use you, get more people to use you. If it's not doing that, then you're just throwing away the marketing money. But the few sales that you do, because you put out that coupon, you had that discount, now the sales you were doing are even making less money because of the money that you've given off to people. And I've been a victim of this too. I hated when I used to do our, you know, family nights. It was great because I got tons of people to come into the store, but guess what? They were spending like half off on everything that they got. So what do you think that did for my profit? My cost didn't change. My labor went up because I had had more people working. So I was making so little money every single one of those, but the whole purpose of it was to get more people in and to make that up through volume or get them to come back later in the week. So you have to have a purpose to everything, that if you're going to run any kind of discount or special, that you are keeping that in mind. Um, Because once again, it's a profit game. And I, I, I don't, I want you to chase sales, but I want you to chase the right sales. I don't want you spending money and wasting money where you should not be doing that. So do me a favor, I want you to go through anything that you sell, whether it's a product or a service, and I want you to work out the numbers. I want you to know what the profit is that you have to potentially make when it comes to that product or that service that you sell. And then anytime you run a special or you give a discount, I want you to run the numbers again and making sure that you're including that discount because your sale has changed, right? So in our formulas, sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profit, the sales line has changed. So if it used to be $70 and you're giving 10% off, now it's starting at $63 and you're just not making as much money because that $7 is coming right off of your profitability because you can't make that $7 because you never charge them for it. So it's important you do that. So anytime you're thinking of any kind of marketing, make sure you're looking at that. Uh, Anytime you're looking at chasing sales in any way, like you're going to go out and you're like, hey, I'm not going to give a discount, but I'm going to really push this particular product or service. Once again, run the numbers and say, if I take my 10 that I sell a week now and I take it up to 30, what would that look like? Run the numbers using that profitability and say, okay, well, when I sell 30 of those, I was only making $5. So I ran 30, got an extra 20, which is 20 times five. I made an extra hundred dollars in profit. Well, was that really the goal? Because think about it. If you sold from 10 to 30, you put a lot more time and energy to selling that for an extra hundred dollars. So you have to go, wow. Okay. So if I pay myself 20 bucks, then if I'm looking at this, that's like five hours of work that I'm getting paid for, but yet I worked 10, 15 hours in order to create those new sales. Once again, doesn't make sense. Everything comes down to numbers and just doing basic, basic math. And I know a lot of people don't like math, but I promise you, the math is telling you a story. So don't get hung up on the math, get hung up on the story. What is that sale costing you that you are pushing? that special you're doing, that item you decided to go after, what is that costing you? And does it make sense? 
because way too often people are making decisions to chase sales that aren't profitable. And I don't want that to be you. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that to be you either. So here's what I'm gonna do. Over here are gonna be some videos for you to check out that's gonna take you through your pricing and help you break down the sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits so you can see if it makes sense to drive sales to that particular product or if it's going to make money afterwards. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.